hey hi what's up in this video we'll be deploying this uh, our test application into our server so uh, I'll be using Heroku so I'll be deploying this into Heroku with complete uh, database setup so let's begin so first you need to have a Heroku account uh, just it's free just sign up after that uh, we'll download the Heroku CLI so here is getting started guide you can follow this uh, so you can download uh, this Heroku CLI that will allow us to access the Heroku command from our terminal. So I've already installed that. After that, we need to log in. So Heroku login. Enter your email. Okay, we are in. Uh, now we need to uh, create a app in Heroku with Heroku create. Heroku create. So this will create a new application in Heroku. So this is our address where we'll be pushing our code to make it live. So after that, uh, you need to define a proc file so that uh, Heroku will know which uh, command to execute to start your application. Okay, so uh, before pushing it to uh, master in Heroku, so after we created app, uh, we'll define this proc file so just uh, so i'm inside my application so i will create a proc file touch proc file okay good i'll open up it in code and here we just need to put this code Okay, so after that is defined, we can push our code to Heroku with git push Heroku master. Okay, so our app is pushed to Heroku. So one thing I forgot is I added this proc file, but I didn't commit it. Uh, so let's commit that so git add git commit proc file edit so we can again push if we change anything in our code so we need to push to heroku master I think we need to change a bit in proc file so uh, this should execute uh, public let's push it again Add. Okay, it is deployed. Let's visit that with Heroku open. Okay, so uh, we are successfully uh, getting this Laravel related error. So I have nothing in home. So let's visit the actual URL. Mm, something I think uh, we should set the app key. Yeah, I think we, we need to set up our uh, database as well because there's nothing at the moment so let's visit admin okay okay so this is our application let's set app debug Okay, so no key supplied. So we need to define a key. Okay, so we need to define another. So you can uh, generate any key and 
paste type there okay so let's try this again so actually it is loading the page uh, but links are broken okay so we can see page uh, pages but uh, as you can see the link are broken what you can do here so actually I found uh, the solution here in this page so we need to define like this so I'll copy this notepad and Okay, let's try once more so now it's loading properly okay so this page does not require any database data that's why it is loading so if we go to any other pages which require which is pulling item from database it will give us the connection refused error so next we need to uh, set up the database okay so now we'll add our database to Heroku so uh, you can find that on provision or database section just create this uh, add-on so it it uses postgres and so we need to include this add-on so as you can see i've already created this okay after that is installed uh, we don't need to require all these providers since we are using laravel uh, laravel already supports uh, postgres sql so now after that uh, it created database url environment config in our application you can verify that so there we go so it created this database url so it contains all the information like user username password or uh, database name so what we need to do is we just need to parse that url and get all of uh, these required data username password etc and set up that connection in our application so uh, what i will do is I'll go inside config database in our configuration uh, folder in Laravel application and I will define I'll define new connection so first uh, we need to parse that URL so parse URL is PHP function and we'll get this from environment variable and then uh, we'll get hostname username and password so I'll just paste the code here so from this URL we'll get hostname, username, password and database name. So after that we'll define uh, another connection. So I'll copy and paste. So I'll define a new scheme, new configuration here. Okay so we got driver and we'll make connection name pgsql production. Yeah, we got everything set up so now we'll define we'll use this as our default so if db connection is not defined in environment variable it will use this production one all right so so one more thing uh, uh, while developing on your local uh, it will throw some error because this index will not define so you can do like this so if host is present then put that variable otherwise put uh, this null so now let's commit this git add all git commit database setup so now we need to push it to heroku master all right so let's go and visit so now let's visit uh, the menu page okay so uh, it says we do not have these data because we haven't migrated our database yet okay so let's uh, migrate our migrate our table to database and we need to run heroku uh, run php app partition migrate and we'll see it as well so it is running that command migrate seed on our server yes 
we want to run that command migration created success it is seeding all right now let's refresh okay there we go so we can successfully log into our account and we can okay so we have correctly set up our page so so from here you can run uh, your command normally like you do in your local environment this is how we set up our database in Heroku if you have any questions you can ask that on comment section and please subscribe and like the video if you find it helpful so I'll see you in the next video bye